Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So this is video number two of my nail polish collection. The first video was all my Essie colors and now this video is going to be all my OPI colors. I'm definitely going to link video number one down below so it's easily access and then here we start off with all my opi colors so here are the opi colors i already laid them out on the table so it's easier for me to show them to you and i hope the lighting is not bad here the first one here is boris and natasha this is a very dark color and i love it, it has great color payoff you ought to wear purple Sapphire in the Snow, Hollywood and Wine, Lincoln Park After Dark. This one is very dark. It almost looks black. And then here's the little sister nail polish, which is Lincoln Park After Midnight. These both are very, very dark colors. I mean, they're awesome. It's pretty much like if you had a black, I think, but it, it's even nicer because it has that little like purple type of hint to it, but they're really nice colors. I love OPI's purples. NYPD Beat. Louvre Me, Louvre Me Not. Favorite color from OPI. I have two favorite colors from OPI. This one and Mod About You. Mod About You is a pink. I'll show you now when we get there. But Louvre Me, Louvre Me Not is an amazing color. I love it. It's like a purpley plum color. Beautiful. It has kind of like a shimmer to it, but it's not chunky glitter and it's not iridescent. It is just perfect. This color right here is overexposed in South Beach. And I love this because I am from Miami. Pamplona Purple. This color has not maintained itself well. Plugged in plum. I have shaken it a gazillion times and it still doesn't mix right. Look how it's gotten. Got the blues for red. Mrs. O'Leary's Barbecue. Miami Beat. Honk if you love OPI. This one is Black Cherry Chutney. Roadhouse Blues. French Quarter Your Thoughts. Russian Navy. Love this blue. It does remind me of Essie's blue that I showed you earlier. But this is my original favorite blue. It's one of the first OPI colors I fell in love with. Tinseltown Taupe. You're such a Budapest. It's like a lilac color. Hate this color. Loyalty Islands Lilac. Don't even know why I'm showing it. A pearly color. It's kind of like a pearly gray. I've had this for eons. This orange right here is Atomic Orange. Von to Bite My Neck. Love this purple. It's one of my latest colors that I have purchased. This one is Mod About You. This is my favorite OPI color, Mod About You. It is like a bright Barbie pink. It kind of reminds me of Essie's French Affair, but I do like this one better. This one and Louvre Me, Louvre Me Not are my two favorite OPI colors. Don't Pretzel My Buttons is an amazing nude color. I really like it. I bought this one recently and I think it's my favorite nude from OPI. Rumples Wigan. It's like a light purple color, kind of lilac. This one is I Don't Give a Rotterdam. Not a big fan of this color. Looks really pretty, has like some little shimmer there, but I was not a fan of it. This one is Lucky Lucky Lavender. It's kind of like a very pink lavender color. This light blue is called What's With The Catitude. Gargantuan Green Grape. Very light minty green color, I really like it. 
this one right here is Jade is the New Black. This other green one is Don't Mess with OPI. They're pretty similar, but I think I prefer Jade is the New Black more. Great OPI Red. This, is, this one is called Quarter of a Century. I really, really like this one. As you can see, I am not going in any color coordination like I did with Essie. These were not so organized, and I'm just kind of going as I grab them. This one is My Vampire is Buff. Really like this color. It's not really nude, but it is kind of like a natural color, but it's a little bit more beigey. I really, really like it. I don't like it as much as I like Topless and Barefoot, Topless and Barefoot by Essie, but this one comes very close. I fell for this color, like Eiffel for Eiffel Tower. OP, por favor. OP, you're so Euro. I saw, you saw, we saw, Warsaw. Koala Berry. Bastille My Heart. Heartthrob. Siberian Nights. Susie Skis in the Pyrenees. Samoan Sand. This color doesn't have very good color payoff. It's very sheer. This yellow is Fiercely Fiona. This is from the Shrek collection. This pink is called Sweetheart. It's a very light pink, but it's really pretty. This one is Strawberry Margarita. Really pretty color for the summer. I'm sorry, I'm like moving around just because I'm trying to like fight with the lighting. It's really hard in my bedroom. The lighting is terrible. This one is Curry Up, Don't Be Late. It's kind of like a gold color. I bought this one a long time ago, and you know what? I never ever wore it. Dulce de leche. My very first knockwurst. This is a very pretty color. I don't think the camera does it justice. It's kind of like a pinky beige color, but it covers up really, really well. And even at times, it even looks a little plummy, kind of like a lilac. Berlin there done that. You don't know Jacques. I love that name. This bright green is Who the Shrek Are You? This is another color from the Shrek collection. Painted Desert Crimson. Root Beer Flow, another color that's iridescent that I still wonder why I bought. I should probably just get rid of this one. Dutch You Just Love OP. This purpley has a lot of shimmer, but I really like it. I like things that are kind of shimmery. I don't like the whole iridescent pearly thing, and I also don't like chunks of glitter, but these type of nail polishes I do like. This one is Suzy Says Feng Shui. It's a beautiful blue. It covers amazing. OPI usually covers great. Parlez Vu Opie. Funky Donkey. This is a great purple, also from the Shrek collection. Great payoff. Tickle My Francie. And last but not least, Done Out in Deco. You can see in the purples how if you don't shake them well, you see the blues, even though I just shook this one. So just make sure you shake your colors well, but this one is also a very pretty purple. So that is pretty much it. This is my nail polish collection. I really hope these two videos help you out a lot. Definitely Essie and OPI are my two favorite nail polish brands. They're the ones that I always continue repurchasing. 
This video was a great excuse to do some spring cleaning when it comes to the nail polishes. I'm gonna get rid of some, give them away maybe. The colors that I told you that I really just did not like, just because there's no point in them taking up space. A lot of these colors I've even bought on Amazon for a lot cheaper than they would be at CVS or maybe Walgreens where they're about like $8. Sometimes they're a little bit less. And I've even found some beauty supplies which have them at a very, very low price or they'll have like specials. I also have a video where I show you my favorite nail polishes of all time. And I'm gonna link that one down below. In that one, I just focus on the nail polishes that I love, love, love and that have been my all time favorites. I also mentioned which one is my favorite base coat and my favorite top coat. So I really hope you had a lot of fun watching this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching Bee Lounge Makeup. Bye.